one. It's Presley at actupgames.com here, and today we're going to be talking about this microphone, the Actor 2100 USB. Yeah, so the Audio Technica ATR mm -hmm. 2100 USB. Mm -hmm. I don't think you have to pronounce the otter, mm -hmm. even just the ATR 2100 USB. Mm -hmm. um, if you've been watching the vlog for a while, you probably know that we go to a lot of conventions, mm -hmm. um, anime conventions, VidCon. My Little Pony conventions, Comic Con, mm -hmm. um, seven or eight a year probably, mm -hmm. um, and using the camera mic to do those recordings has always been frustrating to me because it's such a loud environment, and Presley's just a little girl, so she's not talking real loud a lot of the times, and she gets drowned out, and I have to do a lot of audio tweaking to kind of make that stuff work. So I've been thinking for a while about trying to buy a microphone uh, to give us a little bit better uh, audio quality when we're in a loud environment like that. Uh, I did a lot of searching around and didn't find anybody speaking specifically about uh, doing like interviews or doing recordings in a loud environment and what mics work good for that. Um, but I knew I wanted a cardioid mic, which is the sound pattern that the microphone picks up. So it picks up, um, the way they talk about it a lot is if you take a balloon and kind of cram it on the top of the microphone, that's the area where it records sound and it doesn't record sound in other places, right? And they have different levels of sort of drop off as you get away or get off axis or get behind the microphone uh, so you never really know how good it's going to be until you try it out but this one was really well reviewed and uh, not too expensive i think it was sixty dollars uh, i bought it from adorama um, which is a really trustworthy source and a good price so i bought it uh, i'll show you a picture of the bottom here um, it has uh, outputs for both xlr and usb so you can hook it directly up to your computer uh, or you can hook it up through xlr through a mixer or through a sound recorder uh, is a thingy that we have. Yeah, so uh, we did a review, or at least an unboxing a few days ago, or not a few days ago, maybe a couple of weeks ago, even on the little Zoom X1 mm -hmm. digital recorder, mm -hmm. and that's what we had this plugged into. So we went XLR and into the uh, H1, mm -hmm. and then uh, that was just sitting in my pocket while we recorded with a camera, and then in editing, I put the audio together for the two, and I'll show you a little bit of that here in a second. Uh, it also has a headphone output, so you can listen to the output directly from here. Um, I, I put the headphones in the H1 because I wanted to hear what was being recorded by the H1, not necessarily what was coming out of the mic, and that worked really well, and I could hear really great. Um, but what I really wanted to talk about was how well it did in the vlog we posted yesterday, which was, the, or not yesterday, two days ago, which was the, the Nature and Science Museum, going and seeing the gnomes, the hidden gnomes. Um, it's a pretty loud environment. It was on a weekend. Uh, there were people everywhere, spring break here in Denver, so... It was pretty crowded, lots of people talking, lots of noise going on. Uh, I thought it would be a great place to test out the microphone. So uh, first, uh, I want to play one of the clips um, from while we were there. I'll play it first through the camera mic. So let's listen to what it sounded like just through the camera. Go. Okay, so we're in North American Wildlife, the Great Smoky Mountains. Um, you look at it has a picture of bear right there. And if you look by the, that big tree, the oak tree, now, and then look at the little tree, uh, the little tree, and the first branch of the little tree is right below it. Well, not the second. Go up the little tree and then look up the rock. And he looks like shading on the rock, but look for a little brown spot on that rock there. It's actually his hat. So he's right there. So you can tell there's a lot of background noise there. There's a lot going on. Uh, you can hear the little chirping sound. There's little buttons that the kids can hit that play animal sounds and things like that. You can hear that happening. And you can hear Presley relatively well in that, but there's just a lot going on in the background. Now, uh, let's play it one time just what it sounded like coming through the microphone, um, which you'll hear a huge difference. Go ahead. Okay, so we're in North American Wildlife, the Great Smoky Mountains. Um, you'll know because it has a picture of a bear right there. And if you look by the... So, uh, as you can hear there, that one actually sounded kind of weird to me. It sounded almost like voiceover because it got rid of everything but Presley's voice. It sounded like she was doing voiceover and she wasn't really talking because there was no background noise. Mm -hmm. And so what I ended up having to do when, we, when I put, posted the actual video or edited together the actual video was use the camera mic for like uh, ambient noise, background noise, and use this microphone for her voice. And so I brought the camera mic up just a little bit to give a little bit of background noise, uh, but kept this mic up higher so you could hear her voice. Mm -hmm. And let's play what that sounds like once. Okay, so we're in North American Wildlife, the Great Smoky Mountains. Um, you'll know because it has a picture of a bear right there. And 
if you look by the... So, big difference, right? I mean, it, uh, uh, it really impressed with the way that this thing worked. Um, it really cut, cut out all the background noise and made it really easy to hear Presley. Mm -hmm. uh, you definitely need to be recording audio uh, ambient sound in some other way, whether your camera's picking that up or you could even use like the Zoom H1 and, and just don't talk for 30 seconds and just record ambient noise and then do your interview and then you can mix those two things together. I would actually recommend doing that because what I had to do, because the camera was recording at the same time as the microphone, they both had her voice on it. So I had to line her voice up perfectly so that there wasn't any kind of overlap or reverb or anything. And if you recorded just ambient sound for a little while and then did the interview and stacked them on top of each other, you wouldn't have that problem. So I definitely recommend you do that. Um, but overall, I'm really amazed at how well this thing worked for $60. Um, I got a little cheap windsock for it so we can use it outside. We'll try that out a little bit later. Mm -hmm. But uh, like I said, it is the Audio Technica ATR2100 USB. Put the on it. <gasps> yeah, we could blow on it and see how it worked. We could give that a shot too. Um, but it works really well. So if you're looking for a, a mic that, a handheld mic that does good isolation in a loud environment, you can do interviews, you can yeah. pass back and forth. So Presley's going to have to learn some microphone technique um, to kind of work on keeping the microphone in front of her mouth. Because we even had his, like, she would talk and then turn her head so show me what you did well yeah so she, when she turns her head and keeps talking but the mic's not in front of her anymore it would drop way off and i would have to bump that up in editing um so it really getting off axis it really makes a big difference really fast so uh that's <laughs> right um, we're going to use it maybe uh when we do our next interview which is tomorrow tomorrow we're going to shoot an interview and uh, depending on how controlled the environment is we're going to take it with us and if we're in a loud environment, then we'll use it. If we're in a controlled environment, we may not because the camera works pretty yeah, well. Yeah, because we could be in like, a, well, of course, we're probably going to be in a room that we've never seen before mm -hmm. because that would just be weird seeing a random interview happening out in the open. Right. But if we're walking around, you know, looking at some stuff and talking, we may use the mic while we're doing those kinds of things too. When we go to like the Maya exhibit or something, we may use the mic in there if we're going to talk in there. So anyway. <clears throat> Bottom line is I didn't see a great review that explicitly said, hey, this is a great mic for doing interviews or doing like vlogs or anything like that in a loud environment like a conference. And, and this is absolutely that. Uh, really super impressed with it. Couldn't be happier. And what did you think about it? It sounded pretty good, huh? Yes, it sounded amazing. How did you feel like standing there using it? You look like a reporter talking in the microphone. Yeah. How did that feel weird? Did it feel good? Did That's it feel... Like, okay, um, this is hard to keep in front of my face. <laughs> You're going to have to learn some mic skills. But did you like it? Did it make you feel more legit? Yes. Because you had an XLR microphone you were talking into. Mm -hmm. It was pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So, but it just feels weird feeling weight in my hand when I'm talking. Weight, yeah. It's kind of heavy. I mean, you can tell it's pretty substantial. It's pretty cool. Yeah. And with a cable on it's it and stuff. It's heavy, but you can't feel it. Yeah. Television. Yeah, right. But you liked it. You're okay with it. Keep using it. Yeah. Yeah. So thumb definitely thumbs up for me. I, I thought it was great. Um, if you're looking for a mic to record in loud environments, so this you, you you can't do better for the price. Mm -hmm. So check it out. Yes. Johnny, do it again. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow with a new interview. <laughs> Bye. Bye, guys.